I'm Laura Trevallion in New York City and this is BBC World News America. The President and the Pontiff, Joe Biden meets Pope Francis ahead of this weekend's G20 summit. It's a whirlwind diplomatic tour for the US leader. The motorcades will be sweeping through Rome this weekend, through Glasgow next week. World leaders tasked with saving the planet. So no big deal then. In the Afghan city of Jalalabad, there's a deadly battle for supremacy between the Taliban and a branch of Islamic State. And a story with soul, the nine-year-old whose grandfather inspired his passion for northern soul dancing. I've seen some clips online of people dancing to it. I'll give it a try and um, I'm rather good at it. Welcome to World News America on PBS and around the globe. President Biden met the Pope in Rome today at the start of his second major foreign trip. He also met the French president to try and repair frayed relations. It's a busy few days for President Biden. Leaders from G20 countries meet in Rome tomorrow and the UN Climate Summit begins in Glasgow on Sunday. As Mr. Biden is on the world stage, the fate of his ambitious domestic agenda is still in the balance. The BBC's John Sopel is travelling with the US president and sent this report. You're watching BBC World News America, still to come on tonight's programme. Protesters against the military coup in Sudan tell the BBC soldiers fired right at them as the UN appeals for calm ahead of more protests planned for tomorrow. Archaeologists digging on the route of a new high-speed railway in England have unearthed what they're calling an astounding set of Roman statues. The pieces are thought to be at least 1,000 years old. Simon Jones reports for us now on this discovery. On Monday, there was a military coup in Sudan, and now the leader of that coup is under pressure to give power back to civilians. There's another protest march in Sudan tomorrow. The BBC has met protesters who were injured this week as they denounced the coup. The army has denied using live ammunition against the demonstrators. Mohammed Osman reports from Khartoum. Happy Halloween to our four-legged friends, and I'm very much looking forward to giving out candy on my stoop in Brooklyn. I'm Laura Trevelyan. Thank you so much for watching BBC World News America. Have a good weekend and happy Halloween. Hello there, this weekend we